I'm going to stand here, click on this thing here, the house sign, and then in Customize, you can actually design the layout of your house. Um, and it works similar to, I guess, similar to, uh, what's it called? Um, the Sims. So you have this thing here, this bar, and on this bar you can decide if you want to work on the first level, second level, third level, or your butt ugly ceiling, which is, that's kind of what I'm working on there not. I'm going to go down to the first floor and let's say I wanted these stairs to be a bit wider. I could go in here to stairs and I'll try to find something like this. Um, interior staircases, there we are. I could place it right there. And you know, let's say I wanted something similar over here on the second floor, I could place it here. Now that's going to make this thing here look kind of weird, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go and erase that one. But I kind of like it on... Oops. Now it also killed these tiles, so I think I should be able to use this one. Click it, get that one, and then add a few more of these tiles. Uh, and I think that's it's kind of a cool feature. <laughs> because... Um, you're basically allowed to design your own house. You can set up the walls the way you want. You can use different kinds of textures from different settings. Um, I haven't really looked that much into it, but yeah, I mean, it, it looks like, oh, Tetsu is here. Hello. You Oh, never mind. You can't enter right now when I'm building. My bad. Um, but yeah, it, it's kind of neat the way that you can you can design what sort of floor you want, and then afterwards you can start to work on uh, on the interior by finding stuff, you know, items that you want to place in your house. A lot of them require, I guess, knowledge of building, but you know, you can experiment and kind of figure out how you want to do it. Um, Let's say I want, oops, let's say I want to have a uh, a swimming pool out here. If if I wanted to do that, then you know I could use something like this to place maybe just a little thing here, maybe maybe here, and let's do this. Oh, hang on a sec. Still a bit of a novice with these tools. And this one here. And then that one there. I'm not really sure. I, I think it's water, but you know, I could be wrong. It's hard to tell sometimes. And there. It is water, because I'm seeing rocks and stuff. Okay, so let's say that, you know, I want to place some rocks in here. That means I'd need to kind of extend it a bit. So, you know, I'd use the uh, eyedropper, pick this one, place it here instead. Eyedropper, pick this one, do this. Eyedropper again. And I'm sure that there is a, like a, button you can press that lets you get those things faster, but uh, like a shortcut, I just don't really know them yet, so I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way. Click, click. And now I can get to these pieces. First off, I'm just going to click this. You know, I can place rocks in there. Maybe a rock like this, and a rock like that. And maybe that one there, or I could uh, place something entirely different in the middle there. Maybe an item. Um, so that's not something I would do in here in the house building thing. Um, but let's say I, I could place a statue here if I wanted to do that. Um, so there's a lot of options, a lot of uh, possibilities for, for creative people. I think I'd rather have 
these types of stones here. Now it looks like a an old school cassette or just a square puddle of water with two rocks in it. Uh, let's pretend that this is what I wanted. You also have uh, miscellaneous effects like water. I don't know if that actually overwrites what's already there. I think it does. Let's try it. Or maybe it doesn't. Now it looks like a face with eyebrows. What about this? Nah, that doesn't work. But yeah, I mean, loads of different options when you're building with these tools here. Maybe that should have been here. I don't know. doesn't matter. I'm going to remove that swirly stuff anyway. So with some of the tools you have multiple layers where you know you can place water on top of some other things. Um, other times you can't. and You kind of have to experiment to figure out exactly how that works. Uh, I think for now I'm going to keep it like this and then maybe place something on these rocks that could be, I don't know, like a statue of some creature if I ever get that or something else. I don't know. Um, there's also these thingies that you use for roofs, but I really have not figured out exactly how to work those, so it just ends up looking bad. I don't know if you could use this to make a bush. I think it'll probably be above this current layer, so when you move your character it won't look like a bush. Um, you would need uh, you would need to, to have an actual placeable object that looks like a bush. Here is something I wanted to fix from earlier. That is, if I can find the proper stone, here it is. Um, this like that. I wanted to have it like this. So that it has this sort of little arch. I think Dar's coming here. Maybe. Usually Dar portals from this moon gate, but we'll see. Uh, I like this one. It's sort of a supporting pillar. You could place it different pla different locations. I think, yeah, I'd like it here. Click or not because then it removed the wall here, so that was actually kind of bad. Um, I would like, though, to sort of place these things to make it look like there are supporting pillars, but I don't know if it's... it'll probably make it look weird. Maybe here? But then I'm ruining the spot behind. So as you can see, there is... Oh! Yikes! Darius says he's trying to gate Orbit out from the Underworld entrance, but he's still AFK. Ah oh well. AFK. I'm gonna go in here and get the wall back that I broke earlier. There we go. So it's back. I should probably figure out some way to, I don't know, block off this thing. And I think this floor needs to have a different color because right now it, it's a bit different, difficult to see that there's grass here and that there is the inside here. Um, so I'm thinking I should probably maybe go with a lighter color. What's in here? Oh, loads of different ones. I guess maybe something gray-ish. Nah, I don't I'm I'm really bad with picking these floor tiles. It's just ugh. who cares? It's just a floor. You don't have to look at it. It's just for walking. Get out of here. Get to the chopper. Um, and you can also place doors. So, like, let's say I wanted this fancy-looking door here. If I picked that one, it would open up as the arrow shows and you know you basically look at the stuff and kind of figure out where do I want to place it and how will it look uh, and then when you're done you click the commit button and it saves and it'll tell you you compared to your previous house value the stuff that you had previously your house is now 500 cheaper actually did I delete something um, 
I don't know. Anyways, it says I'm getting 500 back, so, okay. And that's basically how it works, you know, you, um, you build your house, and then now it's committed, and if Tetsu wants to come in, he can come into the house. And he'll be all like, awesome, you have nothing in your house. And then he'll be like, ooh, a door, and, and he's like, a chest. Me. So yeah, um, there was a lot of options. Uh, of course, you weren't here when I originally originally started it, but um, it's basically a flat box, and you decide where you want the walls to be. So if I wanted to, I could have gone with a house that had walls all the way to the sides, but I figured, you know, I want to have a little open space here. Tetsu says hi. Hello there!